Neil Armstrong, Gene Cernan have both testified against commercial space flight in the way that you're developing it. I was very sad to see that um, because those guys are, yeah, you know, those guys are heroes of mine, so it's really tough. You know, I, I wish they would come and visit and, and see the hardware that we're doing here. And, and I think that would change their mind. They inspired you to do this, didn't they? Yes and to see them casting stones in your direction. It's difficult. You put $90 billion, like 50 years worth of breaks, into, into solar and wind, to, 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 to Solyndra and Fisker and Tesla and Enter One. I mean, I, I had a friend who said, you don't just pick the winners and losers, you pick the losers. Did you expect them to cheer you on? So they're hoping they would. When you had that third failure in a row, mm -hmm. did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. Tesla is worth more than General Motors. Tesla is worth more than Ford Motor Company. In the history of spaceflight, only four entities have launched a space capsule into orbit and successfully brought it back to the Earth. The United States, Russia, China, and Elon Musk. So yes, I think, I think it's possible for ordinary people to choose to be extraordinary. <laughs>